the line. Look at that line, bro. Some sisters. Uh, I better see it again. It was coming up. Uh, that brothers and sisters wow smell like smoke smell like smoke in New Orleans smell like smoke something burning something is burning something is burning something is loud it's burning Something is burning. Ah, he, he, there go the, there go the big tank, there go the tanker. Something is burning. And brothers and sisters, just like my Facebook memory, it has the the uh, beams of the sun, and that's what the uh, Mercedes Benz Superdome is, beams of the sun. That gold, that gold color tonight. That's my Facebook memory on yesterday. You can see the lighting system too. Right here, you can see it's just like a whole lot of smoke. So, brothers and sisters, with that being said, with that being said, That being said, and it's just playing a Florida Lee. The enemy is like fighting against my, my regular camera. That's like crazy. People have time on their hand, I tell you that. They have time on their hand. So the warning is clear, brothers and sisters. The Most High God is still on this uh, whirlwind. There's a smoke, there's, there's a smoke through New Orleans, Louisiana. I just had a Facebook memory of the Most High God said he wanted to burn New Orleans, Louisiana up, brothers and sisters. I think it was probably like three or four days ago. About three or four days ago, and it's smoky. A lot of smoke. That's probably what that line was. That line going through the sky, separated, probably smoke. I can smell it. I'll look for an article. It's probably something burning somewhere, but the Most High God had made mention of that, and I put it up in the next day. A confirmation happened. So we got the emergency lights. We got that lion uh, that was seen. Clearly seen, brothers and sisters, the body in the sky, probably like smoke running through there and uh, closer to the uh, Mississippi River, uh, to the banks. There was smoke. The, the people haven't did what the Most High God told them to do, it, which is bless the king. Which is bless the king. A, and then it, the, the, the smoke is from over here also. Look at this. Something is burning. I told you something was burning. Something is burning. I told you something was burning. Something is burning. Look at it. Something down there is burning. And then it's going all the way across the street. Something is burning down there. Something is burning. Yeah. I told you something burning. Something is 
burning. There go another cop. Speeding. Speeding, brothers and sisters. Look at there. Speeding. Stuff on fire. Stuff is on fire, brothers and sisters. People are playing around. And the Most High God is serious. The people should have been blessed me. They should have been opened up and blessed me freely to, to fulfill biblical prophecy. You know, that's, that's everybody. Nobody excluded. Everybody. Everybody, brothers and sisters. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, when Pharaoh uh, had the people, judgment, <laughs> judgment. When, when, when Pharaoh had the people to uh, give Joseph, he said, whoever did not come out and give to Joseph something of their possession, Pharaoh said he was going to kill him. If they don't come out and bless Joseph, whoever don't come out, they're going to die. He's going to kill him. We see the Most High God, he's doing that. He's using the reapers to kill people. Okay, y'all want to hold on to money? Y'all want to hold on to money and y'all don't want to do what I told y'all to do? To, to help this man? To help his family give him freely? Okay. He's sending the reapers out. He's sending the reapers out to kill. He's sending the reapers out to kill. And that's Amos chapter 9, brothers and sisters of... Uh, all the sinners of my people, I will kill the edge of the sword. Our people are holding up their, their great future. That's in Amos chapter 9. They are holding up the prophecy. The Most High God is trying the horse of his chosen people, the Negroes, the Latinas, and Native American Indians, and also, also brothers and sisters, also, uh, the Gentiles. He's testing the he's testing the hearts. And guess what, brothers and sisters? A lot of people sitting on money. A lot of people got money. I was telling my wife, the people got more money for, and they go another emergency vehicle flying. They go another one. Wow. Wow. I told you something was burning. I told you something was burning. It, it was it, it was moving the, the smoke of it, and that could have been something else. That could have been, you know, a totally different fire. But I can see it going across the bridge and I can smell it in the inner city. So 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 the people, the people who I smelled it riding on the, the GNO bridge, brothers and sisters. The people in New Orleans, the city should be able to smell the smoke smell the smoke smell the judgment of the most high god they should be able to literally smell it because i can smell it i can literally smell it brothers and sisters the 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 the, the, the word brothers and sisters is going forth the most high god has already given word that he wants to burn New Orleans with fire. He wants to get rid of it. Don't believe it. Go back, you know, some days on my Facebook memory and look at it. And see the confirmation that he brought forth the next day. in the news station, the news station put it up. The very next day I gave the prophecy on the 30th. And it manifested on the 31st. The sign of it. Of like fire coming at New Orleans, Louisiana. And I pass right through and I pick up the smoke, I pick up the smell, then he finally shows me something burning. Put it right in front of my face. To show me his judgment. Put it right in front of my face. You're prophesying to him, they're not listening, and I'm bringing forth judgment. And then the sign said judgment. <laughs> the sign said judgment. A judgment. 
confirmation. This is November 22nd, 2020. November 22nd, 2020, brothers and sisters. It's time for people to get their lives in order. It's time for people to surrender to the Most High God and give their lives over and do what the Most High God has commanded. You in New Orleans, you can smell the smoke. King Myshak Ben David of the bloodline of King David. You can use cash.me forward slash dollar sign Shego1 S H E G A L 1. That's dollar sign S H E G A L 1. Double stripes, double red, brothers and sisters. Double red. Bloodshed. He's been showing that to yesterday. My Facebook memory, not not Facebook memory, but my Facebook uh, post shows a lot of red by the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Notice I, I I picked up the smoke. I picked up the smoke as I was going towards the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, brothers and sisters. He gave me prophecy going and coming. He's giving me prophecy. Speak to the people. Tell them what's going on. Tell them what I'm going to do. Warn them, warn them, warn them, warn them, warn them. And that's what I do. That's what I do, brothers and sisters. All he wants is you to release money. Help help out his servant. Help out his servant. I'll leave y'all with this. When I, I've told this over and over. When Jesus Christ, I was Mashiach, was walking... He did not have enough money to feed the multitude. They had to borrow. They had to borrow from a youngster. They had to borrow. Look at the beep. That's that's my you know indicator. Telling the truth. Stepping on toes. He they had to borrow. They had to borrow from from a from a youngster that had fish. Brothers and sisters, the bread. He had to multiply because the, the, the son of the Most High God did not have the money because what? The people were not giving the wealth to him. They wanted the healing. They, they, they wanted the good prophecies and all that kind of stuff, brothers and sisters, but they was not giving. They were not loosing. They were not loosing, brothers and sisters. So Luke 13, 35 is a prophecy if you don't bless the man who come in the name of the Lord who is talking if you don't bless him then Jesus Christ actually shows you how much I might show you that and we got more fall on this night wow I was talking about it hanging over the field of Bonneville and the fog is just hanging over the field of Bonneville High School So the thing is, brothers and sisters, in Luke 13, 35, we see that Yahweh Shalmashah, Jesus Christ, show that he's not coming back. The temple is not going to be built until the time you, you say, blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord. That word blessed in Greek is 21, 27. And it, it is uh, speak well of, invoke a good benediction upon by supplication. And it also means to prosper that person that come in his name. You can see that ambassador in Obadiah chapter 1, brothers and sisters. And also you can see in Ezekiel 37, verse 20 and 21. And really go all the way to 28 and you'll see that that ambassador who's sounding off, that's walking with the two-part staff, is indeed the seed of David, the heir of David. That's in another country. He's in another country, which is North America, the heathen nation, sounding off, telling the people that the Most High God is going to take them from amongst the heathen and bring them back into their own land. Jesus Christ, I wish I spoke of King David there.